Hey everybody, thank you for being here and welcome to another Fruity Skincare live stream. We're a couple of minutes late, but we made the microphone work. Um, uh, today I will show you how to make an amazing cocoa butter shimmer bars for your body uh, and a super quick and easy coconut yogurt turmeric brightening face mask. We're going to do all of this with the amazing G2.6 by Fruity, one of my favorite, favorite blenders. Um, stay tuned because at the end of the live stream, as usual, we're going to have a coupon code, coupon code um, that you can use on the Australian and New Zealand website um, on any of our products. We're also going to have, as usual, this live stream uploaded onto our YouTube channel, which is Fruity TV. We have tons of recipes there. Um, we also have all of our live streams, so you can go and re-watch it if you think that you missed any of the ingredients. Um, we're also going to have all of the measurements there, so don't worry if you miss any stuff. So today we're going to make, I'm going to go ahead and read you the ingredients that we're going to need for the Shimmer Cocoa Butter Body Bars. Um, so you're going to need some cocoa butter, some steric acid, some mango butter, uh, you're also going to need some vitamin E and some bronze mica and biodegradable glitter. Those are all ingredients that are super easy to find. Um, for the bronze mica and the biodegradable glitter, I am just using an old broken bronzer and a gold eyeshadow that I couldn't use anymore. So that's a tip. I know that every woman has a broken bronzer and an eyeshadow that they don't use anymore. So you can just throw it into this recipe and make this amazing um, glitter body bars that I'm going to show you in just a second. They turn out so good, you won't believe it. Um, so i also going to read you the ingredients for the super easy turmeric uh, coconut yogurt face mask. The ingredients are super simple. You're just going to need some coconut yogurt. I prefer coconut, but you can use even plain yogurt, doesn't really matter some turmeric, some honey, and some olive oil. That's all you're going to need. I want to read you some of the ingredients, uh, sorry, some of the benefits, great benefits uh, of the recipes that we're going to make today for skincare. First of all, everything is natural, which I love. Um, also, the body glitter bars are 100% uh, oil-based, so you won't need a broad um, spectrum preservative like the one that we used last time for the body lotion. Um, so you, uh, the properties of cocoa butter is very high in fatty acids, um, so it has great ability to nourish the skin and improve elasticity, which is great. The fat in cocoa butter forms a protective layer that over the skin that we will hold in moisture. The mango butter has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties to speed up healing. It's also non-comedogenic, so it won't clog up, up your pores. Um, for example, I do not like to use coconut, body, coconut oil on my body because coconut oil is comedogenic and it will clog, clog up your pores. Uh, maybe on your feet and elbows you can use, but I don't like to use anywhere else. Um, steric acid is, an, or sorry, a note, you can use uh, coconut oil for a body scrub that you're going to wash away, like the orange one that we made last time, that's good to, to use. Um, then for the steric acid, steric acid is an emollient uh, which will soften your skin. If you don't have steric acid, you can also use any kind of oil like jojoba oil, or uh, maybe some castor oil is good as well. And then, of course, everybody knows the properties of vitamin E. Vitamin E moisturizes your skin. It's good for wound healing. It re reduces skin itching. So it's good if you have um, eczema or psoriasis. It minimizes the appearance of scars and wrinkles, which is amazing. Then for the face mask, we have turmeric, which contains curcumin, 
which is a natural anti-aging agent. Then coconut yogurt is soothing, soothing and hydrating for the skin. In addition, turmeric and honey have antibacterial properties, which help if you are prone to breakouts. And lastly, olive oil also moisturizes and makes your skin glow. Uh, of course, Italian olive oil is best. I'm kidding, guys. I know that you in Australia have amazing olive oil as well. So let's go ahead and um, start with the face mask. We, I'm just going to throw all of the ingredients. So I'm going to start with liquids first. Coconut yogurt goes in. Voila. Guys, let us know if you want to see any particular recipe or any appliances in use that you would like to see. Uh, we'd love to know, hear your suggestions for recipes. Um, so let us know whatever you would like to see. Then I'm gonna go ahead with the olive oil. I hope everybody is well. Uh, let us know where you guys watch me from and if you are trying this recipe with us. Uh, then I'm gonna go with some honey. Just do a little bit of honey. There we go. All the measurements are gonna be in our YouTube channel, so don't worry if you miss any of the steps. And then lastly, the turmeric. Once everything is in, I'm just going to blend with my G2.6. I'm going to use, go, turn it on first. Speed six is okay. And we're going to do just 20 seconds blending. but it's not a smoothie. You can use more um, yogurt or even maybe Greek yogurt, which is a little bit more um, thick. So this is the face mask. It has an amazing color. One uh, thing that I would like to say about this, maybe don't leave it on too much, maybe a maximum of five, eight uh, minutes because the turmeric your skin will absorb turmeric and you will become yellow. So, or maybe just put a little bit less turmeric if you prefer, if you're afraid of, um, of it staining your face. But if you leave it on like five minutes, you should be okay. I'm gonna try this, that's so good. I'm gonna try this on my hand to show you the consistency. Just a little bit. It's very rich also because of the olive oil. So this is a great mask, is a great face mask. If you maybe after the beach or after if you have sunburn um, uh, or just you have dry skin and you want to moisturize your skin, uh, this is great. And you saw how easy it was to, um, to make. You just throw everything in a blender, blend, and it's done. You have your face mask. Um, so it will leave definitely your skin super hydrated, especially because of the olive oil. Um, so yeah, great face mask. So let's move on to, um, let us know if you guys tried that recipe. We really want to know what you think. Let, let us move on to the shimmer body bars. I want to show you this now because they are 
they turn out so good. Like, guys, look at this. They are so cute. I just had some uh, cookies stamps, and I just put them, uh, pour the, um, the liquid, like the, the mixture, onto them, and then I throw everything into the freezer, and this is what you end up with. And I'm going to try some right now onto my shoulder, maybe, to show you. <laughs> Wait, this shoulder, yeah. So look at this. Let me put my hair back. Look at this. And they hold, like, super well. They're not oily once you massage them. So I think this is great. You can use as a moisturizer, as a bronzer, after shaving, just if you want some glow. Look at the glow. Uh, like super, I'm gonna show you some on my hand. So nice and amazing. And you can use them all over your body. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I got these body bars. Let me quickly, quickly rinse the jar. Here we go. And I was surprised about how easy they are to make. And if you make a large batch, you have them for, I think, for the whole year. Okay, so I'm just going to um, make sure that my blender is dry. because you don't want any water in there. As I said before, those body bars are 100% oil-based, so you won't need a broad spectrum preservative. Okay. So I do have, I already melted my cocoa butter together with the mango butter, and the steric acid I have here, the vitamin E is already inside with the steric acid. And then I'm just going to add the, the broken bronzer, which is the bronze mica and the biodegradable glitter. There we go. This is ready. Let me make sure. How are you guys? I hope everybody is well. How is the weather in Australia? I know that now it's winter over there, so maybe it's a little bit cold, but never cold, never as cold as it gets here. And I cannot believe that the European summer is almost over. Okay, so now we are ready. So since I already melted the oils, which I have here in the fridge, so those are the melted oils. You always want to start with liquid first. I'm just going to put the oil. This is the mango butter and the cocoa butter in. Then I'm gonna add, here I have some steric acid with some vitamin E. You only need a little bit. And you can always double up the recipe if you wanna make a bigger batch. And you don't need to keep the bars in the fridge, even if you live like in a hot climate because they won't melt. I made mine last night and they stayed uh, out all the whole morning and they didn't melt, which is good. 
So now I'm going to add the gold glitter, which I have here. Let's add in some of that. And I'm going to add some of the bronzer, which is Mika. There we go. And if you want to make more, if you want to make it more bronze effect, you would just add more bronzer. Um, if you want to make it a little bit less, because maybe you have a different skin tone, you can just put less. So now I'm just going to blend everything, same settings that we used before. Speed 5 time. We're going to do 20 seconds. <laughs> chocolate smoothie but it's not this is what it should look like to come out like this they're pretty dark uh, I decided to make mine a little bit dark because I'm olive uh, skin tone so but you can see that when you when you rub it on your skin, it doesn't leave. Like it just enhances your your skin tone, which is what you want. I use coconut and shea butter. It's so nice on your skin. Apply over over your body. Hey Cheryl, thank you for being here. Let us know if you try this recipe. Uh, I think this recipe is so amazing. Like look how cute. And you, you can even like make presents and it's homemade and it's natural and you made it with your blender. How amazing is this? So yeah, you see that it's not super dark. It's just nice and it's, it's glowing. It makes your body glow. So last step, guys, this live stream is almost over. So I'm going to put this into... So I'm nice. I have a donut uh, stamp here. I think it's nice to to make like funny shapes. Let me show you. You can see how how bronze and gold this is. It's just the perfect consistency. And once you put it in the fridge, it will harden up. And then it's ready to to use. There we go. So this is perfect. Yes, try Cheryl. This is so great. I couldn't believe last night how this turned out. I was super, super surprised. So there we go, guys. Here I just put the shimmer bars into the stamps. You can even get those sticks. Um, like you can find them anywhere, those sticks, and you just pour it in and then put it in the fridge, close it, and then the next day or sorry, like maybe half an hour, not even half an hour, and then you, you have the stick that you can even take with you around. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. Um, there we go. It's important that if you live with someone, you let them you let them know that that is not food because maybe they will try to eat it and that's not gonna is not good. So guys, we made today a um, turmeric brightening face mask which you saw how, e how easy that was to make. Super easy. I'm actually maybe gonna try that tonight before I go to sleep. And then we made these amazing shimmer body bars, which turned out great. 
Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this live stream. We're going to be here next week with a cooking live stream. So I'm going to see you next week. The discount code should be down here. There we go. So the discount code for this live stream is LIFE32. You can use this discount code on our Australian and New Zealand website to get um, any of our appliances, to get a discount on any of our appliances. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this live stream, and I will see you next time. Ciao!